Hey guys, what's up? By Sector Tron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next live base build video. And this is a Town Hall 9 one. I wanted to do uh, one Town Hall 9, even though it's been a while, and I might not be the most qualified person. Uh, I, you know, I've seen Town Hall 9 bases. I see what's uh, being used on offense, and uh, I think I can put forward a pretty solid base. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into it. I believe I have all the number of defenses and stuff right. And uh, I'll just use my 250 lava walls because I haven't upgraded any new walls uh, beyond uh, the Lego level uh, 10 walls, so or level level nine. All my all the old ones are still uh, level 10. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the CC in the middle. Then I'm going to have a few of these uh, anti HGHB uh, air defense compartments. I think it's just a good idea to do, so I'm going to put one there, and uh, I'm going to throw one. Uh, I'm thinking I'm going to put it like this, and then have it just go out. Or actually, let's try this, um, and then just have it go uh, around like this. Not going to be that deep on the. I can't have it take up too much space. I guess is what I'm saying. So I'm going to make that compartment roughly like this. Um, and that's going to be uh, a good way to defend against HGHB because the bowlers, wizards, uh, only the queen can reach those air defenses. So anyway, um, and then we're going to put a little bit of dead space in here. Just throw a little HP in there, kind of as a buffer. We can actually, actually we'll just leave it like that. And uh, that'll be that. We're not going to put any defenses in there uh, to try to screw up some giant pathing, hopefully. Um, but anyway, uh, from there, we're probably going to have the queen be in the top left here. Uh, so we'll put her probably up around there. Uh, I'm going to have an air sweeper right like this. Remember, we, we don't want to have big compartments. We want them to be rather small uh, for the most part. So we're going to leave that one uh, like that. And what I'm thinking I'm going to do is uh, have the queen compartment like separated. So... Uh, have it go back like that and up and around over like that uh, air sweeper to push back some healers or whatever uh, we'll have one on the other side as well so let me just go ahead and get that out um, this is going to be an interesting base we'll see how this shapes up uh, what it what it can defend against all that good stuff so anyway uh, put the air sweeper there and then we're going to have uh, we can do the king like right over here uh, like that then we uh, want to have one expo in this compartment uh, we can put that on ground and air just because we don't need the total range there uh, we'll have the compartment roughly about this this size and uh, have it just go around like that so uh, that's good there um, it could be a little smaller even doesn't have to be this big by any means uh, yeah, this is better and then we can even uh, go down one to right there uh, we'll move the king back to right there actually put him on this side so it's not touching and uh, yeah that looks pretty good uh, we can fill in a few defenses in just a moment and obviously some of my stuff is upgraded but just pretend it's town hall 9 level uh, just for the sake of this actually let's go ahead and do this let's put the expo back here and uh, put that guy on um, put that guy on ground uh, that way it's a little harder to get to it I don't think it needs to be on air for this because we have some pretty well defended air defenses to be honest um, but we're gonna put uh, another air defense there and then another one down here so uh, just like that we can change them as we need um, kinda start filling in some of the other compartments I wanna have like a ring around the base here so I'm thinking what we'll do is we just can go further out we'll have something like that uh, that wraps around here um, bring this back around something uh, along those lines and then just have it go out and around the base continuing on and uh, over to right here so this way we can throw some spring traps in there, really make it unfriendly to hogs, uh, and that should work out pretty nicely. Let's move this out a little bit. Uh, we're still going to have quite a few walls, so I can kind of think about 
what part of the bass I want to segment off uh, as opposed to what part of the bass I don't want to do that with. Uh, but anyway, um, let's go ahead and uh, let's have probably a compartment uh, on the bottom part down here so we can kind of go out and around like that over and cut it off right there that'll help protect the air defense as well so that's good um, let's have a few compartments right like uh, one more there's a few right here to have like a building or two in them same thing on this side why not um, like that and then uh, this is looking pretty good um, one thing we can do is kind of be a little sneaky with the walls and uh, put them like that to try to force some giants to go into a spring trap or something. So the layout's going to be kind of anti-HGHB, but then we're going to have other stuff in here to defend against Queen Walk and, and Valks and all that stuff. So let's put this expo on the other side to help uh, counter Queen Walks over there. Uh, so that looks awesome. Uh, what else can we do here? Uh, start filling in the rest of the defenses I guess uh, one less archer tower and one less cannon uh, is the number so I'm gonna just leave one behind uh, but besides that everything else uh, I left an expo too but uh, for the most part same number of mortars same number of wizard towers all that good stuff so anyway uh, the air defenses are placed let's get some uh, archer towers down I guess uh, we can probably want to have one or two out here so like that, maybe a cannon here. Um, put you know quite a bit of point defense. We can actually have. Uh, actually, we'll save the Tesla, um, and then we want to have some HP in here. To uh, we can even put the town hall there. Put the DE storage on the outside. So throw the town hall in here. Um, just more protection for the queen. Uh, we'll put a wizard tower back in that corner. Wizard tower. Okay, wizard tower like that and we'll put one more storage in here uh, that looks great actually we can squeeze in one more storage there okay very good there uh, everything looks good uh, from there what we can do is I want to you know keep it kinda anti queen walk so uh, what we might have to do here is actually an archer tower be a good placement right here because uh, that can't be reached by a queen walk. Just trying to put a few of these in here and we can actually extend this out a little farther to right there and then throw like a cannon back here. Um, that's gonna be, uh, actually another archer tower probably better. Has more range and uh, put that like that move this one out farther and then we'll get to giant bombs in just a moment gonna have kind of a double giant bomb set up in here I think but it's gonna be a little kind of uh, you wouldn't expect it to be there so that's kinda gonna be the power of it hopefully um, I'm actually gonna move this down so I can kinda set it up a little bit uh, get rid of that over okay I just kinda wanna put it uh, right here in case they send some hogs in so we're gonna have it like that this down one and you know it can be queen walked you know I know that but uh, putting a double giant bomb set in the middle of the base at this state in the game just doesn't seem to make sense to me so I'm not going to um, but we'll put a mortar here I mean mainly defending against the first attack on this base that's the goal anything else is a bonus if you can defend against two attacks and it takes a third attack that's even better but um, anyway that all looks good this is gonna be uh, good for anti-air and anti-queen walk and we can actually have this pointed straight south that might be better okay um, a few more defenses to fill in we can put uh, let's do a cannon right here like that and then a mortar in the corner a storage between them uh, let's get the rest of these two more cannons down uh, we'll put cannon here and a cannon uh, let's do over here so that's good <clears throat> uh, we'll actually move stuff over and have a storage uh, right like that and then 
we still have I think two more archer towers yeah so we'll put one right here uh, in a little ways and uh, not the best spread to be honest but uh, one right there um, down like that okay that's good let's put um, some storages down we'll probably uh, have a few more mortars and wizard towers which I expected a wizard tower here would work out good get some splash damage going inside the base but it's hard to target itself um, I don't know if we have any storages left I'll just put a few of these uh, collectors down uh, but just two more defenses the mortars can be good for sucking in some troops especially if they try to come in here on HGHB we put one over here um, back like that and one over here which actually let's switch up the order which really forces them to uh, they have to kind of come dead at the middle or else their giants are going to go to one way so that works out nicely um, as far as the other giant bombs and the Teslas uh, one place I think is good for Teslas um, at this state of the game at least or I just move that like that is to have them kind of sneakily outside the base especially for tripping up a first attack so we can put one down here by the uh, DGB uh, one over here one there and then they'll obviously be surrounded by a bunch of outside buildings uh, we still have six walls too for if we want to make a few changes at some point and then uh, we want to keep these other two giant bombs fairly exposed so we'll put one here in case they try to come in with a few support hogs or something and uh, move this and put one there so what I want to do with the spring traps now is if this is all good move this over a few so they can't get the lure if they're thinking that um, they might be able to get the lure here so let's move this out one don't want to give them the easy CC lure it just makes it too convenient for them so uh, we'll go ahead and just dope those two up along with the storage just move everything on up expo can still reach we're still in pretty good position there as long as you have one expo that can kind of be on the queen at all times it makes it kind of tricky for them especially if uh, point defense starts stacking up on her uh, so that's a good thing there um, now the spring traps I want to just kind of put them between defenses in this little ring here so we'll put one there 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 like that a few initial spring traps if they come in from this side with uh, HGHB um, don't have it as many as I would like but actually we can kind of spread them out a little bit more uh, and move this one kind of uh, down to right here um, and I think that all looks good we're kind of forcing the Giants to the outside of the base here which uh, is, is good um, now they might use Valks it is it is what it is if they use Valks as far, as far as the small bombs go, I think what I'll do with those is just kind of um, commit. You kind of have to commit to one area uh, to prevent them from wall breakering in. Because you can put them as a damage inside the base, but you can also use them as wall breaker killers. And uh, let's just commit. Um, I have no idea what side they'd enter, just taking a look at this with a kill squad. Um, but I want to... Let's do the... Uh, the bottom right here just completely and I have trash buildings between it but at every kind of increment you have a small bomb uh, between each of the trash buildings that would theoretically be there and there'll be one tile farther out so let's keep that in mind that's where you want to put them and that way you know they're gonna have some trouble entering from that side especially if they're sloppy with their wall breakers they could really end up paying for it so that's kinda what you want to have in mind you can spread them out all around your perimeter but I like to commit to one side I think they're going to come from. Um, as far as these little air bombs, let's put them uh, probably kind of towards the middle here because the other air defenses might get taken out by like some kind of queen walk. But these I think are pretty protected. So let's keep uh, the air bombs by those. And then these we kind of want to put towards the exterior to catch some balloons uh, or just baby dragons, minions, whatever they try to use as a funnel or even as an air attack so we'll just kind of put them out here by the Teslas and stuff uh, that's all good uh, I do have the four walls left and at this point the base structurally looks fine so I think what I do is just uh, we can right here uh, kind of force everything down 
so it just makes the path a little bit longer for troops walking around the base. Just trying to spread things out on them. That's kind of what you want to do at Town Hall 9. Uh, but I think everything is down for the most part. Um, Skelly traps, you can kind of do what you want with them. I'm going to put them uh, out here. I think you have two of them at Town Hall 9. Uh, out here just to try to uh, add up some damage, especially if they put down some tanks or something. Just really have a lot going on in that first compartment uh, while I still, I think, have the ability to do that. So anyway, uh, I think everything was used up here, if I'm correct, all the traps and everything, but that's it. That's a Town Hall 9 base. Um, I didn't have any replays for the Q&A, so i uh, going to probably have that coming out tomorrow. So thanks for watching this one, though, and uh, hopefully this is a good base uh, that you guys, I don't know, could even test out, but at least take the principles of the base and kind of apply that to your own base building. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, should be a Q&A tomorrow. Bye, Sectatron out.